What's up everyone, Tao here. Uh, welcome to my video. Uh, in today's video, we are going to talk about the fans. Uh, since it's summer, it's really hot out there. Uh, can you feel the heat? Uh, now today we will be looking at two different kind of fans. One is the airflow fan, high airflow fan. Uh, the other one is the high static pressure fan. And uh, we will be uh, looking at which fan designed for what kind of uh, situation. Uh, my rule of thumb when you choose a cooling fan for your computer, if you want to shift airs from inside the case to outside, or you just want to cool a certain component, high airflow fan is your best choice. Now, uh, on the other hand, uh, if you want to uh, go through tight spaces, like for example, the CPU cooler or radiator cooler or hard drive cooler, a uh, high static pressure fan uh, may be better for that kind of uh, a situation. First, let's have a look at the um, high airflow fan. I'm going to use the um, uh, Noctua uh, cooling fan here. Uh, I'm not trying to promote them, but I'm a big fan of the, the brand. Yeah, don't judge me. Uh, right, here's the uh, Noctua NFS12B high airflow fan. I can see this is the uh, design of it. Now on the other hand, here's the another Noctua. Uh, this is the actually a CPU cooling fan. I took off from this. I actually did unboxing about the CPU cooler. If you have not checked out yet, please stay at the end of this video. I will put the link up. Um, please check out. You may ask the question: How can you tell if it's high airflow fan? Or if it's high static pressure fan, first thing by read the manufacturer specification. Um, a good manufacturer normally will tell you uh, the specification of the certain fans. Uh, for example, this uh, this fan. Here's the packaging. Uh, here's the specification. Now, according to the manufacturer Noctua, this is in terms of airflow is the 100.6 uh, cubic meter per hour. Now, uh, don't worry too much about the uh, definition in, in, in terms of how to measure it, uh, cubic meter or cubic foot. Uh, you can easily convert them online. Uh, only to remember the higher number, the better. So, generally speaking. Now, this particular one is the 100 uh, cubic meter per hour. Uh, this is the airflow, so that means within an hour, this fan can move 100.6 cubic meter of air. Uh, in, my, in my opinion, actually, actually it's pretty good. Now, the static pressure is 1.31 millimeter of water, so that is the pressure. Again, um, different manufacturer, they may, they may have different uh, measure, measurement. Uh, but you can easily convert them online. Just go online. There are some free tools out there. You can convert them. Uh, that is the static pressure. Uh, now, on the other hand, uh, this one, which is uh, this is fan. This fan, according to the manufacturer, that will have fifty point no fifty seven point five cubic meter per hour. That's the airflow. Now, the static pressure is uh, 2.11 millimeter of water. So, in terms of the static pressure, this is higher than that. Uh, this is one way to find out. The second way to find out if it's a static pressure or high airflow fan is just by looking at the design of it. You can see it's a huge gap in between them and uh, it, the design of the blade is quite uh, apart from each other. Now, when the fans on, when the fans will start rotating, the air will be shifted from one side to the other. Now, because the design of the blade is so apart from each other, so if there is obstacle on this on on the other side, so the air simply will be bouncing back. So there isn't any much pressure. This one can see the design of the blade is really really close to each other and also it's quite flat. Now when the fan spins, uh, the air goes through from one side to the other. 
So even there is a tight space or obstacles, the air will be trapped in between here. So it will build up a pressure. So even though there's tight spaces, air still goes through. So uh, that is the other, that, that's the second way to, to find out if it's a high static pressure fan or air flow fan. Now there's one more thing to remember. Um, high static pressure is not um, just achieved by the design of the blade. It's also uh, in combination of design of the blade and uh, the speed of the fan, which is the rotation speed, RPM, a revolution per minute. Now um, imagine, again, I'm going to use this as an example, if the uh, rotation speed is too low, air simply, the more air will be escaped uh, between the blades. Uh, same thing happens when the uh, spinning, the, the RPM is too high, so again the air could also uh, escape between the blades. So therefore the speed, uh, the rotation speed of the fan is also very, very important. Now it in my opinion, not just down to the individual manufacturers, how well they designed fans. So to achieve the maximum airflow and the maximum high static pressure. Uh, in my opinion, that's how you pay for a good fan. Um, it's not just the physically, the bearing is one thing. Also, is the design um, behind this product. Okay, um, you may ask, does it mean I can't use high static pressure fan for case? Um, or uh, I can use the high airflow fans for CPU cooling. By no means I um, encouraging you not to use them, uh, but the purpose of those fans is designed for different uh, situation. If you do use a high airflow fans for the CPU cooling, you will not have same amount of efficiency as this high static pressure fan uh, because it just simply air will be bounced back uh, between the each uh, CPU cooling material, uh, especially the radiator. Uh, the, the fins between them so thin, there's no way uh, for the air go through them as efficient as this static pressure fan. Have that said, uh, this is the end of the video. Um, hopefully some of you out there who actually want to purchase the fans now have clearer idea and maybe have better understanding how the cooling fan works for your computer. Uh, if you uh, did enjoy the video, please click on the like and subscribe. Uh, if you didn't like the video, you know what to do. Uh, hopefully see you guys in the next video.